Hi, I'm Dave Ellis. Welcome to the XLN Experts Lounge. Today, I'm going to talk to you about energy for small businesses. The first point I want to make is about staying in contract. It's vital as a small business that you stay in contract. If you go out of contract, you'll end up paying very high rates, which you may or may not be aware of. Your electricity supplier, your gas supplier will let you know one time that you're out of contract and then they'll let you run with the existing rates. So you are in control. You have to make sure as a small business that you keep in contract. So when you get close to it, you phone them up, you try to negotiate better rates. The second point I want to make is about not relying on estimated bills. You can do this by making sure your supplier of energy and gas, if you've got both, has the correct meter reading. And you can do this by supplying it online or you can phone them up and give them a meter reading, or you can request that they come and do a meter reading. Legally, they only have to come and do that every two years, so you might be faced with quite a bill at the end of it when they do do a meter reading, so make sure it's accurate. Third point I'd like to talk to you about, getting a smart meter. The way you can avoid an estimated bill is to request a smart meter be installed into your premises. So for gas and for electricity, your supplier can read this remotely and you won't get an estimated bill again. It'll always be accurate. Fourth point, I want to talk about your credit rating. As a small business, you will always have a poor credit rating until you've been trading more than three years. It doesn't mean you can't negotiate good rates. It does mean you may be held to certain rates, but you need to keep talking to your supplier. You need to keep asking for better rates and better rates. As you build your business and you come into your fourth year, you should absolutely be talking to your suppliers who can give you the best rates for electricity, best rates for gas, they may not be the same company, but they want your business. Okay, the fifth thing I'd like to talk about is VAT benefits. If you're a smaller business, if your use of electricity and gas is below a certain threshold, you don't have to pay so much VAT. You pay 5% rather than 20%. So that's 5p in a pound rather than 20p in a pound. So you need to track how much energy you use on your meters, mark it down. This also enables you to negotiate better rates with your supplier or with other suppliers. So the top tips are stay in contract, do not rely on estimates, get a smart meter fitted, what about your credit rating, and don't forget about VAT benefits. Thank you for joining me in the XLN Experts Lounge today feel free to visit our website at excellent.co.uk for more expert help and advice.